Hi everybody, it's Roland here and welcome to another video in the How To series. We're going today to look at how to use Grok. Now Grok is X's version of ChatGPT. So if you're a paying member, paying subscriber to X, formerly known as Twitter, you can use Grok and you will see that it will appear in the left hand side on your web browser. So basically just simply click on Grok and it will open up this page currently looks like this. It may change over time. This is what happens with any of these social media programs. We've basically got here Grok Anything, which are some suggestions, but at the bottom you can type in your own question. Now, I'm very much into football on this X account for live grassroots football. So let's just take a look at this question here. Let's, for instance, say, um, please, don't have to use please if you don't want, about the history of, let's say, Trowbridge Town Football Club. Now, I did this some while ago for the history of Warminster Town Football Club, and it got it hopelessly wrong. The, the start date and a few facts were OK, but then it started giving them credit for winning the FA Cup. It credited them with everything that Tottenham Hotspur had done, without any mention of Tottenham. Um, I did tell it, it got it wrong. And then, of course, it actually learned from that. So that's one of the features of AI. It's supposed to self-learn. But of course, if you're relying on it, there is a danger. So always be very wary if you're using these things. I like to see where the references are from. So that's why I, the old search engine method of Google and Yahoo, it would tell you which web pages you were looking at to get the information. And you then could decide if that was more accurate, more likely to be accurate, and then compare it to other references. With this, it's just going to churn it out. But here's what happens when we press the enter button. Grok will do the researching. And then it tells you about the history founded in 1880. And down it goes through there, which doesn't look too bad. We'd have to check it thoroughly to make sure that's absolutely true. Uh, but uh, it also then gives us some uh, former tweets and things there. I use the word tweets because this was a little while ago. So you can scan through those if there's anything extra will appear there for you. You're then able to share the link to this information to copy the text to direct message it to somebody, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down to help it to learn. And also, if you want to regenerate the question. Now, if you're not happy with this, what I would do is copy it first, because when you press regenerate, what will happen is the former message that you got or answer you got will disappear. So it's generating again. We'll let it go and do its stuff. There we are. So as you can see, we've just got that one there. So basically, be careful of what you believe with any of these AI systems. Undoubtedly, they'll get better over time. But in the meantime, use them as a feature and not necessarily as gospel truth. It will do things like the weather. So if you want to know what is the weather forecast today for Trowbridge. Better put Wiltshire because there's another one elsewhere in Wales. So there we go. Now it's researching. Sunshine and showers, pretty much what it is actually. So there we go. So interesting. Um, if you are using X and you are paying for X, then that's an extra feature that you've got. I pay for X for other reasons, for the longer posts that can be made and other things like getting the uh, what was TweetDeck can use that as well, which uh, non-paying members can no longer have access to. So that's from me today to you, how to use Grok. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber yet, why not? Click that button. It costs you absolutely nothing. It'll help me to grow the channel, motivates me to make more videos and to share what I learn about various things just with you. Thanks for watching. Take care.